All right, boys, Need for Speed Unbound, the Lotus Emira. We went through all of our engine swaps, best build for A, A+, plus, S, and S+, plus, and I was really hoping this thing would be fairly competitive, you know, since it's a new car. It, uh, it can hold its own, but it's just not there. I just did an S+, plus race, had a Pagani Hora, an RSR, and the Ferrari F40. And dude was probably honestly using my F40 build, because it was a rocket ship just like the one I built was like you you don't get that unless you put in the best engine and you guys will see just how dumb fast that thing is off the line like it is just gone Zoom. everything beat this off the line even if I was in first place they would catch up but then I would I would start to gain on the uh, the Pagani and the RSR and it seems like I matched RSR and Pagani top speed wise but that F40 he gets out in front. Now the guy driving it, he was uh he was kind of all over the place and crashing a lot. Um but the last race, I forget the name of it, but usually like a good time is like between 3 to 305, 317 with this thing. So this car is definitely not the quickest. It definitely lags uh in the top end compared to some cars where they just keep trucking. Like that F40. Once it's out in front, that's it. But then when when he crashed and we got in, out in front, he couldn't really catch us cuz I'm pretty sure that 40, I think ours only got to like same top speed this gets to, but the acceleration is, is just what you need. But anyway, I, this is a new car, right? The Lotus Amira. It, you know, that's what it did coming out of the race, obviously. So, uh, poor thing. Let's repair it. Or let's not repair it. That's cool. It's whatever. It just wants to be busted. But uh, yeah, like I said, we do the builds and then we, we do an actual test. So I, I will throw up all three races in their entirety so you can you guys can see how this thing is. There's a couple times where it just lost handling, understeer, and sometimes it oversteer, and sometimes it would skid off the road. Other times it wouldn't. It's just, you know, it it's not the best car and it's not the worst car. It's it's right in the middle of the road. Decent. It's it's fun for what it is. So, you know, you guys know the drill. Subscribe, check out our other engine swaps, other builds, and uh, enjoy the races.